Hello everyone, welcome. This is Incep here and today we are going to continue our uh, series with multiple tutorial guide for Mugen. And today we are going to see how can we take a um, sprite and extract correctly and add to your, our project. Well, this can work uh, if you already have a project like this one or if you are starting a new project. <clears throat> this topic was a suggestion by a member of the YouTube. So thanks for him to asking this. Uh, he asked how to properly index sprites. And let's see how can we do that. Uh, before we start, it's important that we have all the, the tools that we need. I'm going to use these sprites. So our objective here is to take this sprite and add to the character and I'm going to assume that you already have your sprites so I'm gonna just use this as reference okay so if you don't know this website and the sprites this is the original Goku from the JOS uh, original game and you are going to need to have this so I already have right here the sprite sheet of him and as you can see, there's a lot of frames. I'm not going to take all of them, just a few ones, so you can understand how the process works and how can we do that. So I really recommend you to use this program. It's the Spreadsheet Unpacker, and it's already available to download in the Incef Content Tools folder. But if you already downloaded my Fighter Factory 3 version from the first tutorial uh, you know that we already have right here in the folder right here it's um, this one you can open and extract so we have the program right here to be honest I don't know exactly how to use the entire program so I'm going just to show exactly what I do so that's my way of uh, extracting the sprites doesn't mean it's the best way but I think it works best so uh, it's pretty simple you just need to take the sprite sheet and drag right here so it will detect all the frames and will help you um, in extracting of course you could do this manually um, you could extract the frames individually but this would take a lot of time so uh, I really don't recommend but it's possible okay so as you can see the program try to uh, recognize all the frames and you can select them or deselect to to the ones that you're going to use but keep in mind this is not perfect so for so for example right here as you can see these are more like uh, the same part of the sprite, but the program didn't recognize it as a unique part. So, for example, if you wanted to use these um, uh, pixels effects, they will, won't be um, available. So just keep in mind that. So um, there is a few options right here. For example, you can select all or deselect all but I really don't recommend for you to do this okay uh, let me just show you the reason but before we do this we need to have a uh, folder so I'm gonna just put some uh, actually it's important to not have space blank spaces just to prevent any issue we need to fix the export location so we can save our selected frames into this folder so um, I'm going to select all the frames and click export and we'll take a few time as you can see he the program extracted all the frames selected which results in this amount of um, frames but as you can see like I said he the program takes some sprites that we really don't need that some um, not usable frames so we just um, have a lot of frames that we are not going to use so I really don't recommend to use this option uh, let me just delete all this so for this tutorial we are going to use only the 
um, stands. So I am going to select only these four frames, okay? But there's a few options that is important to config to be able to um, be compatible with the Fighter Factory, okay? And you just need to go to the options, uh, file format, you choose bitmap, which means this option, and preserve the palette. Just this, basically. Of course, if you want to explore the other functions and the other configurations, feel free to do, but that's how I do um, in my projects, okay? So update and close, and basically, you just need to export. So now we have only the four frames, okay? Uh, we can close this, and I really recommend you to always to make a copy for this, just in case. And of course, you can use the um, this compactor, or you can just, you know, create a copy. Why it's important to have a copy, just in case? Well, these frames doesn't have palettes, so we want to add directly in the character, for example, um, like this. As you can see, the sprites are not so um, correct, because as you can see, we, we have this blue um, background and we cannot see the palette, because we didn't fix it, the palette of this sprite. So, uh, if, if we try to manipulate the content of this frame, we cannot change, okay? That's the problem. So what we need to do, we need to add some palette for this specifically sprites, okay? Uh, so let me just revert all this. It's pretty simple. You can open any project or a new one. We just need to go to the advanced palette editor and right here in loads a uh, current image from a file and select the um, the sprite that you want to to use so keep in mind that basically there is a few rules right here to work correctly uh, the first the first position in the palette will be always considered the the transparent color what this means basically in the first position we need to put the color of the background which means the is this blue right here so you can just um, select the background and the one that it's in the this position in this case is the black border color select both with control and use the exchange positions of selected colors so it will do a reverse and basically it will be a little strange the result but it's completely um, fine now we just need to select this option, insert the current palette in the images into all frames that we want. Keep in mind that, for example, if the palette has a, a green color and right here in the green color doesn't have that green color, it will create a, a error in the palette. So it's important that when you insert a palette into the sprites, into the frames, uh, this palette in specifically must contain all the colors of that specific frame, okay? For example, I, I, I got this frame that doesn't contain, that contains some different colors. So as you can see, we have this little blue for the key blast and also some changes in the clothes because the lights effect. So if we apply the same palette of that old the other sprites, as you can see, we have less colors compared to this one. So basically, if you want to use the same palette for this one, in the one with more colors, we are going to have some issues. Like this, for example. Why this happens? Because the colors are not present. We have uh, limited colors, so the Fighter Factory are going to try uh, adapt the best colors for the missing colors okay so keep in mind that um, the first frame maybe will not have all colors for the other frames so it's important to use in the main palette all the colors of the the character itself the frames 
all the frames okay and just keep that in mind I'm going to add this in the project of the Goku so we can see the result I'm going to need to add individually one by one so right here we can switch actually we are not adding we are switching so I am just applying all the sprites and fixing the position right here let me save it and run the project so as you can see of course we just changed the first um, frame so that's exactly what we want to achieve we got the sprites from a sprite sheet we separated the sprites um, using the sprite sheet unpacker we add the the palettes and once everything was corrected we just changed it or added in the character the, the frames that we apply the palette so everything now it's working you can just apply the rest of the sprites and so you can continue your project um, that's for the video but if you want to continue watching there's a few um, tips that I would like to share with you so if I didn't add the palettes to the project that's that would be this will be the result so let me just um, add the alignment and as you can see we have the transparency color but we does not have the palette so we cannot um, manipulate the sprite itself and during the project we are going to have this result sometimes it will be um, transparent invisible or will be like this with a um, background color so like I said this is the base palette as you can see we just switched the background color with the border color but I really recommend so I call this like the simple palette method but we have the advanced palette method which is this one for the Goku's Persian Blue and let me show you how I usually do this first we are going to need to select the second option the second tab right here and I'm going to select all of this with shift and change the color right here in the, the set colors and I usually use this because it's a better to contrast with the other colors but feel free to use any other ones I just don't recommend to use the black color or the same of the background okay and right here we are going to you need to put the background color which is the blue one so let me just take right here select both of first positions and in these two options you can send, send the color to one side to other so for example these options send the left one to the right one and this is the reverse okay and in the second position right here we put the black color which represents the black lines in the character and from now on we just need to select the colors of the sprite I usually get the sprite colors from bottom to upper so I'm just going to select all of these colors and to see if I selected all colors correctly I just change the hue or, or any other aspects to see what exactly I'm going to take so these two colors represents um, all the parts of the clothes uh, of blue so I'm going just to select these two and move to there and once I get the, the colors I change to pink just to make sure that I already got these colors okay so the second second part is this part right here so this represents all of these colors and we can 
turn as pink and now the skin tone so he have four colors for the skin and now we just need to get the eyes and the hair as you can see the hair uses the same color of the border and only this other color it's the second part of the hair so since we already have the black color right here we don't need to get two time two two times so basically now we have all the colors except with the blue one uh, plus the blue back ground which is already here so basically we got all the palettes for this sprite so that was the before and this is the after as you can see there's a difference of course in organization but the result is the same so we are going to save this palette as a new file new palette and now we just need to insert the current palette into these into these frames now adding all the frames and as you can see we have um, organized the palette but um, this is uh, it's still a simple part because as you can see during the colors selector uh, the clothes are using the same colors for both parts so for example right here we have the in upper part we have the green and bottom part we have the green as well and in Goku's Persian Blue for example we have uh, individual colors for each part of the clothes that's uh, advanced that's it's called advanced palette remap this is not a content for this video specifically but in future we may have another um, Mugen guide to explain how to do this exactly and as you can see we have the colors um, separated but not so separated for example right here we could have the the face and the, the this part of the chest the arms and this part for two but it do, doesn't have all more detail means more work to do but in short keep in mind that's what that's the result that we have we have a optimized palette and with this we can of course continue doing the the work so for example if I want to change for green I could just manipulate the colors directly into the palette well in this video we we saw how to add a new sprite into a new project with a new palette but sometimes we already have the sprites in the character but we want to change the palette to a new one and that's a topic for another video so that's it for the today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope somehow this content was useful to you um, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments thanks for watching see you in the next one